Hello and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So today we are going to discuss about solution of part linear partial differential equation but it has some twist. It is about solving Lagrange's linear differential equation but having a text uh, which, with which you can solve your equation. So let's begin with an example. You can see that now it is in the form of partial differentiation. So you can write it like mg minus ny p nx minus lz q ly minus mx, right? Make sure you have watched my last video so that you will be able to understand the concept fully. Let me recapitulate something that if the equation is in the form of PPQQR where P, Q and R are the coefficients or we can say constant terms or having variables but P and Q are the partial differentiation operators with respect to X and Y respectively. So I have put P and Q instead of dz by dx or del z by del y. Okay. Now, what are the three steps which we are going to um, follow? Step number one, putting in this form, right? So dx by dy, capital P, dy by Q and dz by R, correct? Thereafter, we need to solve the equations and get two functions without any differential operator, u and v. And in step third, your complete solution will be f u v equals 0 or u is equals to f v. Right? These are the three steps. Now, let's begin. So, according to step number one, this is the form of Lagrange's linear differential equation. dx by, your, your, let me write it. Here P is, compare, capital P is mz minus ny, correct? Q is nx minus lz and r is ly minus mx. Now, applying step 1, dx by mz minus ny dy by nx minus lz, dz by ly minus mx. Now you can see that even if you will consider first and second fraction and equate them, then also you will not be able to get a function in two variables formally, right? Because thereafter also you will get something, you will not be able to cancel anything, right? So in that case, what you can do? In that case, you can do the multipliers concept. So, take multiplier of x, y and z. Same multiplier, what do I mean? See, you need to multiply x, y and z simultaneously with dx, dy and dz with addition operation and to the same in denominator. Let's have a look. So x dx, y dy, z dz in addition operation similarly to the same with denominators and this will be your new fraction. Okay. So x mz minus ny y nx minus lz, z ly minus mx. You can see if you open this denominator form, x mz will be cancelled with this x mz, x ny will be cancelled with this x ny, y lz will be cancelled with this y lz. So ultimately in denominator form you will get 0. Right? Now, don't consider it that because we get a 0 in denominator form, so it is in de the denominator form and we cannot solve it further. No, it's not that. Do you remember if we have something like x by a, y by b and we want to find out direction ratios, 
or the values in terms of eigenvalues. We just put x is equal to a and y is equal to b, right? Similarly, what you need to do, this is, this, because this is a fraction, so this will create x dz, y dy, z dz equals 0. Okay? Now, you have got this in the form of dx dy dz, so what you can do to remove it? Integrate it. Let's run. Let me graph a test. So, let me erase this. You have got x dx y dy z dz as 0. Integrating both sides. So it will be on integration x square by 2, y square by 2, z square by 2 equals some constant. Let's say c1. So x square plus y square plus z square is equals to 2c1. And again we can say like a any other constant or c2 whatever you want now so your first function is which is in the form of u x square plus y square plus z square all right now find out second function so get back to this form initially you have taken multiplies of x y and z but you can observe that in denominator L, M, N are also there, right? So, second step, what you can do to form another function, take multipliers of L, M, N, L, M, and N, and do or follow the same criteria. Let's begin. So, if I am taking the multipliers of L, M, and N, so it will be L, D, X, what you need to do in case of multipliers? Multiply the multipliers in denominator and in numerator and denominator of, uh, elements and add them up. Okay, so L dx, M dy, M dz divide by L of this first element, M of N x and z and M of this. You'll find out that again denominator will come out as 0. See, L and Z will be cancelled with L and Z. L and Y will be cancelled with L and Y because this is in minus and this is in plus. So cancel. Everything will be cancelled. We will get L DZ, M DY and N DZ. Okay. So, now your equation is L DZ m dy m dz equals 0. This is, this is in fraction form and this will be equal to 0 because this is a fraction form. Now integrate. So what will you get on integration? L square because you are doing with respect to dz so lz this is z or x? This is x right? Sorry about that. dx, dy, dz. Right? So, lx, my, nz equals 0. Or a function, because this is c1, constant you have already taken. This is c2. Now, this is your another function, which is v. So, your second step has been completed when you found out that your two functions u and v are this. Now, third step is your complete solution will be f u v equals 0. u is what? x square y plus y square plus z square and v is what? lx, my, nz. Okay. Or else what you can do? take u as fv or you can say so u is equal to fv so u is x square 
plus y square plus z square and fv will be f of lx m by nz. Both of these are your solutions. Okay? In any form. Because this is this can be simplified into this form. Okay? Now, I hope you understand this video. You can do several examples in terms of logarithmic function because the only bit which will change is the multiplier. Okay? You need to consider what multiplier you can take. Whatever is given to you in the form of denominator. Okay? If it is cancelable, then you can do it as our previous example. But if it is not, then you have to take multiplier form. And thereafter, what you need to do? Integrate it. For integration, it can be a logarithmic function, it can be anything. And after that, find out two functions and put it in this form. I hope you understand this video. And if so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.